Hello and welcome to another episode of Frightfully Forgotten's Trash or Treasure. I'm the treasure. I'm the trash. I'm all torn up. Looked like I've been beaten up by Bigfoot. I'm wearing Bigfoot skin. <laughs> A Patreon request by Gonzalo Valdez. 1980s Night of the Demon. This movie is directed by James Wasson, and he has done fuck all. <laughs> this movie stars mostly unknown people who have done fuck all. <laughs> except for Lynn Eastman Rossi, who is also in Phantasm. All right, yeah. So this movie starts off with this guy in a hospital bed, and he's all bandaged up. And there's the doctor, and there's a cop there interviewing him. They want to know what happened to him. And he proceeds to tell his story. He's a professor teaching a class where he brought in this found footage of these people who ended up catching what they thought was a Bigfoot on camera. Eight millimeter footage with no sound. Suddenly when Bigfoot comes in, you can hear, like, <laughs> where does that come where does from? That come from? <laughs> Carla Thomas kind of interrupts the class and she says that her dad was murdered in the woods and she thinks that it was a Bigfoot that actually did it. There's also a lot of legends of Bigfoot in the area, right? People have been going missing in that neck of the woods. Professor Nugent uh, recruits a bunch of members from the class, so they get an expedition together and they go looking for Bigfoot. All of a sudden they just have a boat and all these supplies. Yeah. Take a boat, they find the dock. What dock? It's just a bunch of mud and shit. With, with some steak in <laughs> yeah. the thing in the ground. But they end up going to Lou Carlson's cabin in the woods and he's all kind of aloof, like they're trying to get in. Finally opens the door, I'm going hunting now. Just and then he leaves? <laughs> yeah. They all have to wait there and camp out and then he comes back? Well, this will only take a second. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Why don't you tell us what we need to know? One of the guys brings him the elixir of life, a bottle of whiskey to loosen his tongue a little bit and he proceeds to tell them a story about Wanda, who's a recluse in the woods. Apparently Wanda knows more about Bigfoot. They should go seek her out. The problem is apparently she no longer speaks. The next day they go to town and start asking everyone in town about this Wanda person. Everyone has got a slightly different variation of the story. But between talking to all these different people, they can kind of piece together what happened. So apparently Wanda's dad was some weird preacher that lived out in the woods in his cabin and had these followers. They would do rituals in the woods, and <laughs> they had human sacrifices. He committed suicide and set himself on fire. Now Wanda lives out in the woods in this cabin all by herself as a recluse. They go out into the woods to seek out Wanda. They're camping out one night. They hear all this kind of weird stuff happening out in the woods and two of them get out of the tent and there's like this crazy ritual happening in the woods. Fire going. They're all chanting, chanting. and everything. There's this big Bigfoot like effigy made out of like <laughs> shrubs and shit. Yeah. Like all... <laughs> it ain't no wicker man, yeah. that's for sure. And there's this guy in this weird kind of leather mask and he's about to like rape this woman who's like on this altar. Well, we can't let this happen, right? And they shoot off a bunch of rounds. Everyone scatters. Turns out some of these rumors about a cult up here are true. So they eventually find Wanda's cabin. They go knock on the door, right? The rumor is that she loves candy. So they made sure to buy some candy. Presents the candy, right? <laughs> she grabs it, the door opens, right? She lets him in. And she's just a mute, right? She's not really saying anything, but they kind of look around and there's this locked door and they can't really get much out of her. So of course, being a professor and all, try to hypnotize her and she can kind of dive into her past. It turns out that her dad was a very strict Preacher, super hard ass. He's all whipping her. Yeah, and you, you bitch, yeah, you whore. You're embarrassing me. Yeah. <laughs> like what the fuck? Yeah, because she was in love with this young guy, and they're just kind of hanging out by the stream. It's all nice, and she comes back to the cabin. You whore. Yeah, yeah. Turns out there is a Bigfoot in these woods. He's the last one. Bigfoot approaches her one night 
and rapes her. Yeah. And it's a pretty crazy fucking scene. Where it's like, whoa, you, they, they did this? They shot this? Bigfoot's got to get some too. He's like, got <laughs> he's gotta procreate, right? Yeah. And the dad kind of like hears this happening. He comes out of the cabin with the shotgun. He's like, oh my lord. <laughs> he, all, he all shoots the Bigfoot yeah. too. But he got there too late and she's actually been impregnated by the Bigfoot. The dad tries everything in his power to kill the fetus. He tries poisoning her to kill the Bigfoot baby. <laughs> but it doesn't work, and she actually gives birth to the Bigfoot, which is a crazy scene. She's like, ah! The dad just sitting there, not even yeah, helping. Like, oh. As soon as the baby's born, the dad grabs it. He's all holding it yeah, up. Yeah, it's all alive. Immediately but... kills the fetus. And the Bigfoot sees all this and is mad and is like forever now terrorizing everybody because all this happened. <laughs> Wanda wakes up from her being hypnotized and suddenly while well, Bigfoot is at the house smashing all the windows and breaking the doors and that's where we're going to end the plot. Because if you want to see what happens at the end of Night of the Demon, watch the movie. It's pretty crazy. <laughs> yeah, it is. If it doesn't sound crazy enough already. Yeah, I know. That brings us to the treasure of this movie. And there's quite a few, actually. And one of the best things is actually the plot. It's the whole Bigfoot aspect. Very original. Done really well, actually. It's ahead of its time in a few ways. The found footage thing, Cannibal Holocaust did it first, but this feels very Blair Witch-like with, you know, they find the footage of the Bigfoot, find out whether or not this is true, they're interrogating the town, mm -hmm. they get different yep. stories from the town. It's very, Blair Witch must have bored from this movie. While they're camping out, they get terrorized. Over multiple nights, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. So it's very Blair Witch. Yeah. The whole addition of this weird cult in the woods rituals to kind of keep it at bay yeah and kind of ward keep, it off keep it away it's, it's pretty neat like it's not just a bigfoot out there there's a cult out there too which you never expected yeah it's an interesting take on the whole bigfoot thing the kills in this movie are really good and the funny thing is most of them were an afterthought where they right. filmed the movie screened it and they thought oh we need more so they filmed all these kills after the fact and put them in as flashbacks. The movie really did need it yeah, too, right? Yeah, and I'm glad they added those because they're <laughs> they're great. The Bigfoot just walks up to some guy sleeping. Yeah. Friday the 13th must have bored from this. Picks up the sleeping, <laughs> he's all swinging it, <laughs> then throws him on that branch, <laughs> that spiked branch. <laughs> There's also that one with that guy that riding that motorcycle and he gets off the motorcycle to go take a leak and Bigfoot all comes out and tears his wing off. <laughs> <laughs> you all see his wang yeah, it's, too. It's a fucking hilarious scene. The guy pulls out his wang and it just zooms in at full wang, like full frontal fucking wang. Like, it yeah. looks real. I don't think it's... Yeah, I was like, yeah. that, uh, how did they get away with that? And I love the Bigfoot. doesn't try to kill the guy or anything or eat him. He just comes up... Oh! <laughs> he just rips the wang off. And then lets the guy <laughs> walk away and bleed to death. There's another good one where there's a story about these two girls in the woods together and they encounter Bigfoot and they both have knives. They try to defend themselves, but Bigfoot just grabs their arms with the <laughs> knives and like... Stabs them. Stabs them. Stabs them. <laughs> The preacher dead when he's burning alive in that shed and his hand comes out to kind of reach for help and it's all melting oh, and everything. Oh, it, that's really good. It looks good. It looks <laughs> yeah. really good. And then the cabin at the end where shit hits the fan and basically everyone gets mm -hmm. destroyed by Bigfoot. He throws that guy on that big saw, takes that guy's face and puts it on the stove, lifts his face up and they show the aftermath is like, oh, oh, oh. Yeah, it looks good. Man. It looks good. One of the guys tries to get a picture of Bigfoot while all that's happening, and he yeah. drops the camera and exposes the film. And the film comes out. Oh, yeah. and it's like, oh, man, nobody's ever going to see what's been happening. Yeah. The setting is great, too, right? I mean, how can you get any better than the woods? You're out in the middle of nowhere. There could be anything out there terrorizing you. It doesn't have to be a Bigfoot necessarily. Yeah. And there's a cult out there too. <laughs> yeah, these people could yeah. be nuts. And not just the woods, Wanda's cabin is a great setting. And they walk in, the wallpaper is all peeling off. That shotgun 
that's like you don't know if it's working or not, which is placed, I think, pretty purposely there. It's like, ah, oh, like, does that work? If they need to grab it, is it gonna work? And there's that locked room with the padlock. I love the mystery of that too. And it keeps compounding too. Yeah. There's mystery on top of mystery. Yeah, the mystery of this movie is great too because as you learn more, you also, there's more questions too. But yeah. they do get answered. Like everything does get answered. You're not left thinking, ah, oh, what happened? No, you know what happened. Everything gets answered at the end. Bigfoot himself is kind of cool too. But kind of cheap too on top of it, right? The, the like, Bigfoot design is cool. It's yeah, a cool it's idea. The, the trash. It does look kind of cheap, especially from the shots from behind where you can see where pieces of hair glued onto the suit. But his face and the rest of him from the front actually looks really cool. Yeah, like torso up looks yeah. pretty cool. A lot of the trash aspect of this movie is the budget. Yeah. And you can tell by the Bigfoot design that, yeah, the budget maybe is not what it should have been for a movie with this kind of the, the idea, idea the scope, the scope. And it's almost there right the bigfoot design is almost there but you can tell it's done cheaply the actors could have been much better if they could have afforded better actors it, the acting is pretty bad the professor in the beginning when he's telling his story like aren't you supposed to be disfigured and in well. intense pain and on morphine and shit and he's just like yeah, we went out to the woods. <laughs> There's some good acting. It's not all bad. No, no, no. But the thing is, it it's noticeable. It's enough to sort of take away yeah. from the movie a little bit. And the editing too, right? A lot of filler type stuff. And it just didn't work, right? It yeah. ruined the pacing of the movie. There's like some scenes that were shoved in there and you're like, well, what was that? Was that a flashback? Or, did, yeah. or is that happening in real time? No clue. We're down to the wire here. Night of the Demon, trash or treasure? It is treasure. I'm voting treasure too. Yeah. Besides the fact that the budget wasn't there to pull off a movie with this type of idea, it worked. For the most part, it worked. Yeah, it was a very enjoyable movie, very yeah. intriguing, and it, it kind of got the point across, right? Yeah. It's a fun movie, you know, like the, the kills are fun, the mystery is fun. The plot is good. Would this movie make a good remake? Yeah, not nowadays. Uh, like, maybe, like, it's, it's hard to tell. If they were to remake this movie, it would have to have that same kind of gritty, dark feel to it. It couldn't be all glossy and Hollywood yeah. looking. It'd have to be a l pretty fucking dark. A lot of fun. So if you're in the mood for a good woodsy horror movie with a monster lurking in the background <laughs> with some great kills, Man, check out Night of the Demon. It's yeah. a lot of fun. Oh, yeah. And until next time, keep drinking. <laughs>